Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations. And I am waiting at the bus stop in the middle of downtown Oshawa on this cold rainy day. And if the streets are pretty noisy, so I hope I, I hope you can hear me all right. I'd rather talk out here than try to talk to you from at home when the guy downstairs has been listening in on our every move. Uh, he, we're stuck with him for another month, and he has been doing everything he can to try to make life a living hell for us. At least he hasn't touched us physically or burned the house down yet, but last night, I kid you not, he within the space of 20 minutes, he turned off our power at least five times. And at least he turned it back on after two minutes, but it was still pretty annoying. And it was screwing up my computer. I'm trying to email people, and next thing you know, I'm in the dark again. And we phoned Jonathan and complained about it. He phoned Rob. We hoped Rob would phone the police, but then again, there's nothing the police can do anyway. <sighs> it is inevitable. Our house is probably going to be sold. So I don't know where we're going to be living or when we're going to be moving, but chances are it'll be an improvement compared to where we live now because it'll be a fresh start. We'll be in a new place where nothing stupid has happened to us yet. Over the years we've lived at the corner of Elm Grove and Westmount, we have experienced our share of drama. Oh, even before I was married to Dave, he had problems with a fellow by the name of Jack St. Pierre and oh, in, in 2006, that's when Dave had his cellulitis flare up and had to be hospitalized for a month, followed by me having to be in the hospital for two weeks because I had my first and hopefully last manic episode. I have been on medications ever since then to keep it from happening again. And we've had, I guess, in 2015, Dave broke his arm and the that was, he tripped over a vacuum cleaner hose. I swear something, like, he remembers it differently, but I remember seeing the hose fall in front of him and trip him. And a couple months later, I fell down the stairs and put my head through the drywall. Dry, dry wall. Hmm. So, we've, we've had our share of drama. I'm glad that didn't happen when Scott was living downstairs. He'd probably just point and laugh. In fact, one, he's gotten back to the habit of turning the lights off while we're trying to climb up the stairs. I haven't been downstairs myself since November after that, that creepy conversation about Dave having a gun and then telling, then, then Scott telling me to lose weight. None of his business. Oh, I will be glad when he's gone. Anyway, something, something good actually happened for a change. Well, it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't ordered it. But the Albany Historic Carousel sent me the coloring book that I ordered along with the four stickers and the patch. They are so nice. The, these drawings are so exquisite. I, I'm, I'm hoping I can make a quilt to donate to them so they can raffle it off and raise funds for the carousel. In the, in the months or years to follow, I hope to share with you the art that I create from this project. I am currently working on the living room's second coloring book quilt and I will show you pictures of that in my Facebook page and the new Margaret Franklin Creations. Anyway, I should have, should keep this short in case he tries turning off the power again while I'm trying to upload this video. I wouldn't put it past him. Ah, it sucks living like this. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel. Bye-bye. Be back soon.